Let me borrow from American history so I'm not misunderstood to be advocating something we don't do in America. Here's what we did in America the last time we had unemployment like this, the 1930s. Franklin Roosevelt, in response to pressure from the labor movement and the socialist and communist parties that were big and strong then, you know what he did? He created a public employment program. That's right. If the private companies were either unable or unwilling to hire, well, then the government would. And it did. From 1934 to 1941, somewhere between 12 and 15 million people were hired. Let's see, what can we do today? How about this? We have tested 1 million out of the 325 million people in this country. You know what we could do? Train and deploy an army of testers across America with their masks and gloves and their six-foot distancing to do the testing. Train the people to do it. Give millions of people a job testing the remaining millions of us. That would be an enormous service to every possible way we have of fighting this virus. We're not doing it. Here's another set of jobs for hundreds of thousands. In other countries, they're called tracers. You know what they do? When they identify someone who has the virus, they trace. Who are the other people you saw in the last two weeks? Who did you go out with? Who did you have dinner with? Who did you go for a walk with? In order to check them because they are the ones in danger. We don't do any of that. Here's another group, cleaners. People whose job it is to clean and disinfect on a mass basis. Every workplace, every store, every athletic arena. And we need to do it over and over again so it's an ongoing job. Wow. What about the millions of teachers who could be tutoring? on the internet, one-on-one -on -one with four students a day over four hours, times five days a week, that's 20 students. Each unemployed teacher could be working one-on-one -on -one interactively with a student, making people learn and benefit out of this catastrophe. And then there's the greening of America, converting us into a ecologically sound place by planting trees, by a thousand other things. There could be a public employment program that could have been planned and could be up and working now. Instead, leaving people idle. That's a disastrously failed response to the failure of capitalism in the first place. Not only did we not prepare for this virus, we haven't any mechanism to cope intelligently with the unemployment that has crashed around us.